Celeste, at last. Celeste, at last. You're finally awake. I feel like I've been sleeping forever. For one year, actually. I thought you were out for good. A whole year? 
You've watched over me the whole time? Yes, and I'm about out of energy. We're on a tiny deserted island. After the world crumbled, I awoke to find us here together with... A few strangers. The world. So it wasn't just a dream. Where are my friends? Wh where's Locke? I don't know. I only know we're here. Maybe we're the only people left alive. Since that day, the world's continued to slide into ruin. Animals and plants are dying. The few others who washed up here with us passed away of boredom and despair. My friends, they're probably all gone. Celeste, you're the closest thing to family that I have. We could just live out our lives here peacefully. I suppose so, Sid. Or should I say Granddad? May I call you that? Gramps, eh? I'm overwhelmed all of a sudden I have a granddaughter. <laughs> My long lost granddad. <laughs> hey, are you hungry? I haven't eaten in three or so days ever since I became ill. What would you like? Well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. So you lay down, Granddad. You're sick. You shouldn't be up and moving around. It's my turn to take care of you. So hey, everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In the last episode, well, uh, Kefka kinda destroyed the world. Yeah, we dropped the ball on that one. Whoops. But anyway, now it appears that Celeste and Sid are the only people left alive, and Sid is, uh, he's not long for this cruel new world, so we need to hurry up and, uh, feed him some fish. But not just any fish. We need yummy fish, that fast-moving fish right down there. We feed him that, and he will be up and at him in no time at all, hopefully. Those uh, fish spawn randomly, but uh, if you do not feed Sid yummy fish, or if you feed him the wrong kind of fish, there is rotten fish that is really bad for him. You know, he's still not long for this cruel new world, but he's doing all right, or compared to what he could be. But yeah, if you feed him the wrong kind of fish, his condition will actually decline even faster. Behind the scenes, there is a uh, hidden uh, point gauge related to uh, Sid's condition. And you can check what kind of fish you have by going into the item menu, go up to the rare uh, items, and you can find fish there. That one was a yummy fish, so we're on the right track there. The rotten fish deducts like 10 points or something like that. The yummy fish gives him 10 back. And his uh, point counter, uh, his uh, point counter will uh, steadily decline every like so many seconds, like by a point. And there are like regular, just normal fish, just a fish, and just fish. I think it might even be in all caps. I'm not. Nah, I'm, no, it's not in all caps. It's all lowercase. Never mind. I was misremembering that. But anyway, you keep feeding him yummy fish, and his uh, condition will steadily improve. I think you get 10 points for yummy fish and 5 points for like the regular ones, but I think one of them might be negative. I don't really trust either of those fish there. They're not moving fast enough to be yummy. So you go back up, you talk to Sid again to respawn the the fish uh, uh, assortment, I guess you could say. Which ones we can choose from. Hopefully we'll have some. We got nothing. You get nothing! Sorry Sid, you're not going to make it after all. But yeah, if you fail to uh, feed... Sid enough uh, yummy fish to uh, improve his condition. It's, uh, well, it's not game over, but Sid will die and be permanently removed from the game. So uh, let's try and save him. I mean, Celeste, you know, she just found out that, well, you know, the world is in such terrible shape. We're on a deserted island. You can leave this area, by the way, and walk on the world map, and you can fight some random encounters. There's uh, peepers and earth guards, which have like single digit HP and the seizure status. So they don't last very long. They have like time for one, maybe two attacks before they just die on their own. 
But in the, there's a little patch of desert that has a stronger enemy called the Black Dragon. It's basically a pilot swap of, like, fossil things and zombones. That one is pretty tough, actually, for Celeste by herself. You definitely want to make sure to equip her before doing anything like that, if you so choose. I'm not going to bother with that. You can fight them later. All right, we got another uh, yummy fish. Yeah, you can tell what fish are what by how fast they're swimming. Like, the slowest fish is usually the rotten one. Although, sometimes I get tricked by the other fish. But the yummy fish are very easy to tell apart. But you still can't bear this anymore. So, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, sorry I ended up taking a... Uh, upload hiatus I'm not I didn't like take a break from the game I'm uh, still rec I'm recording this episode the same week as I recorded the uh, the previous episode number 39 when Kefka destroyed the world with the statues but uh I, I just kind of needed to uh, you know set a little break in my upload schedule so I can catch up on my backlog create my uh, buffer so it's easier for me to for me to uh well, stay ahead of things because, you know, you know, this is a hobby. I, I try to stick to a three day, three upload a week schedule, but, you know, work and personal obligations. And ooh, he's doing a little better now. You know, personal obligations, family stuff. And, you know, I was, you know, I'll be going to uh, distant worlds and visiting some friends for a weekend during this, during the, uh, this hiatus time. And he's not doing so well anymore. His condition already declined again. So I basically just took this break just to kind of give myself a chance to get caught back up. And gives me give me a little more time to do more creative things with uh, the gameplay and everything. See if I need to like do multiple uh, takes on certain episodes. And the fish are not cooperating with me anymore. So I appreciate your understanding in that, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Mega Man X2 in the meantime. You know, I just spent like a Friday morning up, you know, recording for about three, three and a half hours or so. There we go. There's a yummy fish. It just needs to get closer to the coastline. Come here, buddy. I need you. There we go. Granddad is dying. Help me. Fish are the best medicine in the world in this game, apparently. But I hope you guys enjoyed that in the that little diversion. Little, uh... Well, look. A little bit of an interlude, I guess. You know, the game... Final Fantasy VI changes drastically at this point. The whole world itself is completely different. I mean, we're on a deserted island now, but who knows what else is out there. We'll figure that out soon enough. In the meantime, though, Sid needs our help, as per usual. I probably could make this go faster if I took some chances and tried grabbing the slower, regular fish. I think that would probably speed things up a bit, but I don't know what kind they are. It's, you know, they're, it's hard to tell them apart from the rotten fish. And, uh, I've done some pro some previous, uh, recordings of this as well. And, uh, I was not very, uh, fortunate in those. I kept let Sid kept dying in the end. I wasn't ready for Sid to die. So, you know how it is. Anyway, guys, I think I am going to uh, cut ahead to when I actually have Sid re fully recovered. Get out of my way, bird. Alright, got it. Okay, that really slow one is probably definitely a rotten fish there. I probably could have taken a chance on that one. But here's a fish. And I will meet you guys after I uh, get Sid back up to health. Alrighty, we did it. Sid is all better now. Yeah, in the process of, uh, I've learned that as I was doing this that uh, it's better to just grab as many fish as you can. Just make sure you have at least a yummy fish involved in part of your inventory. Even if you get, do wind up with a rotten fish, if you have a yummy fish and the other fish, it usually offsets the rotten fish. So it's better to just do, like, everything you can get your hands on. If you can avoid the rot rotten fish, that's better, obviously. But all right, Sid is feeling much better. He's recovered. We fed him the medicine that is fish. And uh, before he gets to this point, though, he it actually makes it. He actually says something that makes it sound like he's doing worse because he says that he fears he won't be around much longer. Maybe that's just because his belly's so full of fish that he's like, no more, no more. I'm going to burst. 
But now he feels much better. He's recovered. He's up and at him. He probably should rest up a little bit more, but anyway, what's up? What's up, Sid? Celeste, the project that kept me going over the past year is down below. Go have a look at it. All right. Our Magitech master, Sid, has a uh, secret down there. What could it possibly be? You know, he's the master of all technology. What is he create? He's he built a raft. That's it. Granddad. Celeste, you must leave this place. You have to find your friends. I know, but I'll bring them all back to meet you. That lock fellow too, no doubt. It's like I gotta make sure that the that your boyfriend is worthy of my new granddaughter and all that. So yay, somewhat happy music. So Celeste is waving goodbye to Sid as she prepares to... Yeah, Sid does not have an arm raising uh, animation, so he can't wave back. Now Celeste is going to take to the waves and ride over and see where she winds up. But what happens if uh, we do not save Sid? So let's, uh... Well, let's find out. All right, I rewound the clock a little bit. So now uh, we've seen the uh, happy end to the story. We've seen what happens when we save Sid. But what happens if we fail? Yeah, you'll notice that Sid, he's not moving. He got to the point where when you're talking to him while trying to feed him fish, if he gets to the point where he says goodbye, that's the point of no return. He's gone. No amount of yummy fish will ever bring him back at that point. So we failed. Sid is no more. Bet before I got to this point, though, I did take Celeste out onto the world map from this area to uh, teach her some magic. I got her to master the, the Phantom Asper, so she has the Vanish spell at her disposal now. That'll come in handy in the next episode when we get to that. And I noticed that uh, while I was gone, Sid's condition did not change at all, so you're able to go onto the world map even if you want to save Sid and fight some battles, get some magic points, learn some spells. If you ha you, We haven't had Celeste in the party for a long stretch of the game prior to the Floating Continent. And if you know the story, you probably don't take Celeste with you when you go to the Floating Continent because you know she joins your party eventually anyway. So she was lagging behind in the magic development department there. So uh, she's equipped with Maduin now, so hopefully we'll learn some level 2 spells next time. But anyway, I guess we should... There's no more... Uh, no more delaying it. It's time to uh, go uh, meet fate, I guess. Something like that. So, yeah, this is a pretty depressing scene, but I think it's a more... Uh, I decided to go this route for, like, the official LP canon because I feel like this route is more... Uh, it it, it complements the story better, I believe. But anyway... Uh, Granddad, you have to eat, or else... W what's the matter? Yeah, I hope you brought your tissues, guys. You might need them. Sid? No. No! You promised you'd stay here with me! Granddad, answer me! Tell me you're not- you're just joking! Jeez, I'm actually getting choked up here. Yeah, you have control over Celeste at this point. You have to climb up this hill where this bird is. And you talk to the bird. Those others who are here. When they were feeling down, they take a leap of faith from the cliffs up north. Perked them right up. Okay, that's clearly a, a, censor a censorship uh, issue that Woolsey had to deal with. You can probably guess what that's actually supposed to uh, be. And what Celeste is now considering. Everyone's gone. Even Locke, who promised to watch over me. The world's slowly ebbing away.
That moment has more emotion in it than I've seen in entire JRPGs, especially these recent generations. It's powerful stuff. That's one reason why a lot of people like to see that scene opposed to actually saving Sid. Another reason is the fact that Sid does not actually contribute anything for the rest of the game. He's pretty much, uh, it's all the same in the, the grand scheme of things. He just walks around the house saying, I feel much better, thanks Celeste. And he doesn't contribute anything at all. You know, I mean, if he, like, joined your party as a guest character or something like that, then, uh, that would be, uh, they would be different. Like, if he actually, like, came with Celeste on the raft instead of just, like, stayed behind all by himself. I mean, he couldn't fend for himself during that little stretch that we saw him here. But, anyway. So, that, that happened. And, well... I'm I'm actually I'm actually trying just a little bit. That doesn't usually happen even when I watch this game, but maybe he's just acting it out. <sighs> Why did you nurse me back to health? Did I ever ask you to help me? Don't know how the bird is doing anything, but what's that on it? A bandana? No, it can't be. Hey you, where'd you get this? Is the person who healed you still alive? Answer me! And the bird flies away. So, uh, th flashing back to, uh, back when we went to, we were in, uh, Famasa when, uh, Interceptor showed up, and I commented that I wasn't sure who, uh, Celeste was talking about when she said that he was so gentle. I thought maybe he was, like, remembering, like, some kind of encounter with Shadow, and that he was, uh, respectful or something like that to her despite being the assassin that he is or maybe that he was she was thinking of general leo maybe but i looking back on that i think she was just talking about the way uh Locke was nursing uh interceptor back to health so there's a little bit of a connection here because it's like oh Locke just treated that poor bird the same way he treated interceptor he's alive Locke's still alive so now celeste has new hope there might be something out in the world after all. Locke must be out there. The others must be alive too. So even though Sid left us. And speaking of Sid leaving stuff. You need to leave. The others are surely waiting for you. Find the stairs next to the stove. Down them lies your road to freedom. Love, Granddad. So when Sid was getting up and walking around and everything... It was because, well, you are if you are watching this video in the order that I uploaded everything, then you already know what this is. It's a raft. Sid's uh, last uh, project. So now Celeste must leave the solitary island behind. And next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, we will find out what happened to the rest of the world. We will re we will hold on to hope and try to find the rest of our friends. So this has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.